I realized that what I had built was, was unique. And so I talked to my web development, the owner of my web development company and said, hey, meet. I think, I think I, number one, I've got a lot of colleagues interested in, uh, in a service like this. Number two, I think there's a missing part in this segment. Welcome. You're listening to the Apartment Investing Show. This is where you'll learn how to start or scale your apartment investing career. Your host, Adam Adams, has partnered in more than $100 million of apartment communities. Adam and his guests will show you how to create residual income by investing in apartment communities. Now, here's your host, Adam AAA Adams. I'm your host, AAA Adams, and today I am with a friend of mine who I met originally at a high-level mastermind. We were in Las Vegas for this trip. And these two guys who are just crushing it in syndications, Jacob has been a part of 16 different syndications, by the way. These two guys were there and we were talking and discussing and he had this software that he wanted to keep himself and and that he was using and, and we were all talking and the whole room went crazy. They were like, your software solves all the problems from all these other softwares that we've seen. It's like you are reading our minds exactly what we want. And there's a reason why his software is completely different than all these other softwares. And here's the reason. All these other softwares are created by engineers who are extremely smart people and they love being in their cubicle and creating software that works but they don't think like a syndicator. So Jacob here, he had his own software and he thought like a syndicator, what do I need? How do I want the user experience to be? How do I want it to come to me? What do I want it to do so that I get more investors? So it's kind of interesting. And I want to talk about this thing called investor management software because you're, you are a syndicator And you need to have hundreds of investors. We've got about 800 on our list right now. And uh, you're going to have at least 100 different people that are wanting to be investing passively on your list. But if you don't have a nice way to manage those investors, it's going to be very difficult for you. So I said, Jacob, I need you on the show. I need you to come and talk a little bit more about this software because it's actually the one that my company has chosen to use. We've had all the offers. We've had all the other people reach out to us and say, you should use our software. But Blue Spruce Holdings, we choose in the syndication pro software. And so I was like, Jacob, could you come on? Could you talk a little bit about it? The experience you've had in the 16 different syndications. I'm excited to get into your creative deal uh, because Jacob and his partner Sterling do some really creative stuff. So I know this is going to be a fun interview. Jacob, would you give us a bit about your background before we get started? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Adam. So Really, I, I got into real estate back in college and, and during my sophomore year, saw an infomercial. That led to some fix and flips through college. And when I graduated, I went right into more fix and flips, wholesale deals, and that eventually led me to syndication. So that's kind of my evolution. I don't know how detailed you want me to get into, in, into those weeds, but I'm sure we'll find out some more. I am sure we will get into a lot of the details, but I really want to talk about just back in the day, I remember you originally created this for you, but why did you create Syndication Pro years and years and years ago? So it really all started with uh, my company, Holdfolio. So I have two companies, Holdfolio and Syndication Pro. Holdfolio is my real estate operating. That's where I personally do syndications, own and operate all of our properties management, vertically integrated. And then Syndication Pro is the software side. And so how this all came to be is back in 2013, when I was doing fix and flips and wholesale deals, looking at what is the next step for me, um, I had my eye on the first crowdfunding sites that were, that were crowdfunding larger real estate deals. And so I thought it was really intriguing how Uh, Number one, they were sourcing capital from investors online. That was, I couldn't get over that. It it was like kind of nerding out on that. And then number two is creating transparency into this another another world 
that I hadn't been exposed to, mainly larger multifamily commercial deals. And so I was able to, through, the, through those platforms, get an idea of what those deals look like. And so in, after about a year of studying, getting, learning more about what all that, uh, what all that uh, involved, I actually decided, you know what, I'm going to build out my own site to attract my own investors. And I'm going to go and buy bigger deals. I'm going to get out of the single family, uh, single family flips and wholesale deals, just build a buy and hold business. And so I spent uh, almost, almost a year with, with, uh, with a securities attorney, one of the, one of the country's leading crowdfunding attorneys uh, with a, with a web development team, just poured my life and soul into building out this website that could actually facilitate this. And then over the course of the following few years, I went from close friends and family investors to registering over 3,500 investors to my website, syndicating almost a deal every other month personally, not, not co-syndicated or co-sponsored, just, just my own deals. And I was constantly making changes to that website because what I, what I learned to find out is that there's so many automations and streamlines and time saving that you can do through, the, through a web application like that. Uh, so it was really in the trenches doing this for myself. And then through meeting colleagues like yourself, having people say, Hey, this is really cool. How do we use this? Um, I, I didn't have a good answer. I was like, like, there's no way I could recommend that someone go build a platform like that because way too much time, way too much money. And I actually learned of a couple software platforms that were doing this. And so at that point, I was like, whoa, this is interesting. Maybe I can get out of the web development game and just focus on real estate, just pay this other company for these services. So I demoed a handful and I actually was kind of set back. I was expecting, I was expecting the next best thing, like get rid of what I had built, get onto this, this, this new platform. And what I realized is that it just wasn't for me. It was, it was bulky. It was seemed too complicated, even from an investor's perspective, you know, I had spent time raising all this money myself. And so I needed to lower barriers for my investors because I didn't want to take calls. You want to make it as simple as possible for your investors to invest in your deals. And so I realized that what I had built was, was unique. And so I talked to my web development, the owner of my web development company and said, Hey, me, I think, I think I, number one, I've got a lot of colleagues interested in, 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 uh, in a service like this. Number two, I think there's a, a missing part in this, in this segment where the existing solutions are expensive, bulky, very complicated. What we have is very clean, intuitive. And so we went out, started, started coding it away, got my colleagues on it early. And I think that's, what's been unique about this product is that it's been the evolution of me personally syndicating over 16 syndications over the last five years. And then when I, when I have our clients and I have an opportunity to learn what they're doing and what their ideas are and where they're trying to optimize something, I can speak the language. I, I understand I've been in that seat before. So I think that's where syndication pro just has this, this ex very unique competitive advantage that a lot of, other platforms out there just missing. I, I love it. And one thing that I love the most about using Syndication Pro is um, every single day, I get a couple of investors that, that log in and they, they come onto the investor list. And before we were using you, we, we, we had a checkup like weekly or, or every other week. And we're just trying to see, hey, did our, did our stats change? But every single day, I'll get two, three, four, five even up to six people that log in and, and sign up to be on our investor list. And I get an email for every single one of them. It's like, hey, congratulations, you got this person. They opted into your list. They want to be one of your past investors. And it gives all their information, uh, well, some of the information. It gives a lot of information like they want to play somewhere between 100K and 200K or they want to play somewhere between 250K to 500K or 50K to 100. And so it's really interesting. It gives us the information that I want to know and it helps us to be able to reach out to them and, and actually take them from just opting into the list 
to um, uh, let's get involved in a deal. Let's, let's start doing these deals together. So we love the software. Um, let me ask you a couple quick questions. You mentioned um, some of the competitors. Well, you didn't say any names or anything like that, but you mentioned that you, there was other investor software out there that helps you manage and that how you pride yourself on making sure that you have a clean user-friendly system. And I've noticed that as well, but if, if you wouldn't mind kind of going into some of the differences, because I know that there's a lot of, there's me, um, you know, on the Facebook live, there's people, Eric Upchurch, uh, Chris Collins, uh, they're, they're like, this is who we like too. Um, we like syndication pro, you know, hi, hi guys. Eric says, we just got their, they just got their pro account. So they're with you. Um, so it's kind of cool that, that, that you have so many fans. And they're switching over from some of these other software companies. Uh, I know you launched in January and you've gotten so many people switching over that you've already, your platform has, is raised into the nine figures, well into the nine figures now. And so congratulations on that. But to kind of boil that down, why do you think people are switching? Why do you think people are going from what they know to Syndication Pro? I think there's a couple big, a couple big reasons. Um, number one, we've already mentioned it. It's just a different experience. It's it's intuitive, simplistic. Um, couple a couple of the the big players in the market of this software uh, just have a, a very very good infrastructure and they've they've built good products. But um, number one, the pricing is difficult for especially people who are trying to lay a framework. Maybe they have a few syndications. They're looking to build uh, a syndication pro is we have clients with dozens of syndications and clients who are just starting out. So we service that full, that, that full bandwidth of, of client. And I think that, I mean, that, that is, that is a advantage for sure. Okay. So recently, you know, in the pre-interview, you mentioned how you had friends. I know I have friends who are, who are moving over, but some of some people that you know have said, I'm done with this one and I'm going all syndication pro. So can you give me some of the feedback that they gave you as to why they moved to certain other products and started wanting to use yours besides just that the price is reasonable? Yeah, there, certainly from an investor perspective, they, um, I, I won't, I won't call out any competition and, and why each individuals are bad. But for example, one, one company was also newer in the marketplace, um, a, a really solid property management software, but they just don't have their game together when it comes to facilitating equity raises. So that one had a list of like 20 things uh, that, that they, that they were, that they were struggling with. Um, so Another really common one from an investor onboarding experience, they were having barriers. They were having issues with their LP, with their limited partners, with their investors, getting registered, finding the deal and getting through the investment process. Um, they were having issues controlling the, the experience. So our software, for example, it's, it's a two way street anything that your investor can do, you can do as a syndicator. So if you need to handhold, if you need to help one of your investors kind of get through something, you can just do it. You can knock it out. Um, and so really it's just lowering those barriers and creating a better experience for the investor uh, and then also the syndicator. I'm glad we made the switch when we did because uh, my partner, DJ, he does all of our investor management. He does all the investor, he signs the checks and everything like that. And mm -hmm. there was a couple of times, I think I can remember, recall at least two different times where um, did all the spreadsheets, all the calculations, writ, wrote dozens, I'm talking probably like 40 different checks by hand and, um, and signed them and sent them out. And we realized that there was a miscalculation somewhere. And one tiny miscalculation somewhere means you got to redo everything and do that all by hand again before you mail them out. And what, I, what he loves about using your software 
is that all of that stuff is done for you. You have all the calculations, you, you make sure the calculations are correct and you push a button and all of your investors get paid. And you don't have to spend days or out, days and days and days or even a week getting carpal tunnel and potentially making a mistake. So I, I, I want to say we appreciate that a lot. Uh, DJ's a lot less stressed with using your system than he was when he was handwriting 40 plus checks. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Let me ask you this. Um, so I, as I understand it, um, through going through the mastermind with you, we're in a higher level mastermind. It's, it's some of the very, very, very top syndicators on the planet. Uh, in fact, there's some in multiple countries, but most of them are here in the U.S. And Rod Cleef runs it, some amazing folks. And as I understand it, you never thought, you, ne you didn't originally th say, I'm building this so I can sell this. You, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you built this because you needed something like this. Is that true? That's absolutely correct. Okay, so, um, so you, you never planned to sell the, the software in the beginning. What made you come to the realization that you should be offering this to other syndicators who are struggling with writing handwriting checks and getting investors on their list? What kind of helped you make that determination? So the, the aha moment was of course an accumulation of other syndicators and colleagues asking how to build what I had built. Um, but also at that mastermind group that you referenced, we had, we had a room of uh, about 15 individuals and all of, all of these syndicators, like you mentioned, are, are syndicating deals and only two from the room were using a, a software platform to facilitate that. That was, that was over, that was a year and a half ago or so when that, when that aha moment came. And so I realized, I mean, personally, I couldn't imagine syndicating without an online infrastructure to facilitate that process. We just, we just closed our 16th deal about a month ago. We raised a little over 2.7 million, over 80 different investors. That was, that may sound crazy, like a lot of work, but when you have the infrastructure in place, it just flows. So, so that was really, um, really what, what created the, the, um, the decision to just go ahead and do this, polish it up and offer it to my colleagues and, and see where it goes from there. So we do have a special offer, by the way, just for anybody who um, wants to use this investor management software. Maybe you're currently using one, you're already frustrated with it, or, or you're like 90% of that room of the top level syndicators in the country. And most of them didn't even know that this, uh, this awesome service could exist. So uh, we've got, go to syndicationpro.com and just let them know that you heard about them from Adam Adams and they're going to actually give you your first month for free. So at no cost to you, the very first month, you, you come in, you join and you don't even have to pay for it. Try it out. It's amazing stuff. We've, we've loved it ourselves. So uh, the next question that I have for you is if there are folks that want to sign up, where do they go? How do they find you? syndicationpro.com is is your is your place to to find uh if you want to reach out to me personally jacob at syndicationpro.com i'm very very involved with all of our clients and and i'd love to figure out how we could help you out so uh, before we get into the final five which is my favorite part of the show and i'm excited to get into it with you because i know you have some really creative apartment deals that you could probably share with us um i want to ask you on this syndication pro software, there's a lot of folks like me who, who really care um, about knowing somebody's integrity, knowing somebody's the, what the group has actually done, and they want to get some testimonials. And I gave them a testimonial, but if they want to find you know, people that are talking about syndication pro, where would they find more information on, on the testimonials? So we've, we've asked our clients for feedback and we post that directly on our site. And if it uh, is also of interest, we could definitely connect you with people who are using our service, raising money uh, and in the trenches with us. Awesome. I do highly recommend Syndication Pro. It has helped my life to get more past investors on the list. It helps DJ all day, every day 
um, to be able to focus more on the real asset management because before it felt like he had two full-time jobs. He had a, he had a full-time job of asset management. He had a full-time job of investor relations and this is really streamlined it and allowed us to be more effective in our, in our deals to make sure that the deals that we have going on were actually hitting those pro formas. So thank you for that. We're going to get into the final five, but first a quick word from our sponsor. The show is brought to you by Blue Spruce Boardroom, Adam Adams' private inner circle program to streamline your success in the multifamily investment industry. Blue Spruce Boardroom is for those who want to passively invest in real estate and meet strong operators from around the country and for strong operators who want to meet passive investors from around the country. When you join Blue Spruce Boardroom, you'll have access to Adam's private Facebook page where you can get your urgent questions about your deals answered 24-7, group coaching calls done virtually over Zoom, and exclusive weekend retreats. If you're ready to take your real estate investing to the next level, then you'll want to join Adam Adams' private inner circle program, Blue Spruce Boardroom. Fill out an application today. Mr. Jacob Blackett, I've been waiting for this moment since the beginning of the episode. What is your most creative deal? So I have certainly had a lot of creative deals. And we're going to focus on the multifamily side because I – had done about 400 single family and smaller duplex deals. Uh, I would have to go with our first apartment we purchased. Uh, th- this was a property that was dilapidated, uh, kind of had a, had a slumlord type, um, type ownership. And we went ahead and uh, did an owner financing deal on that where the owner went ahead and carried back 75% of our purchase. And we, so, so we could just get in there with 25% down. Uh, It's not, it's not too fancy, but it certainly helped because with the occupancy and everything going on with that property, it would have been extremely difficult to get a conventional loan. And so we actually uh, ended up buying that property for 900 grand, spending about 400 grand in improvements and sold it for just under 1.9 million. I love that. That is so cool. Um, what's a book that you recommend? I, I have a lot of favorite books, but today I will recommend The Four Agreements. It's a short, it's a short book, has four agreements. I try to remind myself of these four agreements uh, as much as possible. And let me pause where we are with the final five because we have a couple of listener questions automatically already coming in because we've got we're live on Facebook as we record it and so the first one uh, comes from Chris Collins and he just asks about syndication pro he says does it become my website or does it integrate with my website it integrates so you get you get a site that is dot inv portal.com you get a login and a sign up page and so you just integrate these into your current site. So you can have a sign up, a login button, view investments button. And when people click on those buttons on your site, they'll be redirected directly to the page, has your logo on it. They can sign up, log in, whatever they need to do. And the next question also comes from Chris Collins. Thank you, Chris, for the questions. And he asks, does Syndication Pro have an import fuc- function to bring over investors that you already have in other things like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or whatever? Or do you actually have to go and get all these hundreds of investors to re-sign up again? So we unfortunately can't have them just have accounts instantly, but you can import these contacts. So you can do it bulk through Excel sheet. You can also uh, invite them one by one. So as you get to, if you meet someone, rub shoulders with someone, you can add them to the CRM directly and it will send them a link. This sends them a link, nice professional link, your logo invites them to register. Once they register, then they'll be, in, they'll be active, can view investments, whatever you need. I love it. All right. Lauren Bozeman says she loves that book. So you obviously mentioned a book, which ties us into my very next question. What is a book that you recommend? So the book recommendation was The Four Agreements. Okay. And where were you five years ago? Five years ago, I was dreaming about syndicating 
deals online. Okay, dreaming about syndicating deals online five years from now, where do you plan to be? I plan to continue managing this really fun software company, continuing to buy real estate, syndicate deals, and create partnerships with investors. And how do you give back? Personally, I'm involved with um, uh, Big Brothers, Big Sisters. I've had a little brother now for about four or five years. Annually, I always make a big, a big donation to the, uh, to the organization. And so that's kind of where I focus my energy. And then really, I try to be spontaneous. Anytime, anytime I see something that is an opportunity to make an impact, get involved, I try to really force myself to do it. I love that. Thank you so much. And as a reminder to those of you listening, or if you're on the Facebook live right now, the way that you're going to uh, look more into Syndication Pro is e it's easy. You just go to syndicationpro.com and you can find out more testimonials there. And you can actually, if you say that you heard about us on the show, the Creative Real Estate Podcast or through Blue Spruce or just mention my name, Adam Adams, it'd be very easy for you to not even have to pay for the first month. So you get that first month for free just by mentioning Adam Adams. So please do that. I want Jacob to know that I have a following anyways. Uh, that'll, that'll make me feel good about myself. So let him know that you heard about Syndication Pro through, through the podcast and he'll give you your first month for free. Jacob, how do people find you or get a hold of you? Syndicationpro.com. Syndicationpro.com. I really appreciate you coming on the show, Jacob. Thank you for sharing your most creative deal, which was your first syndication that, it, that you made like a million bucks on. Holy cow. That's amazing. I hope other people are inspired to do their first syndication as well. I'm going to let you go, but for until next time, think outside the box. As a reminder, any investment opportunities mentioned on this show are for accredited investors only. And if you're interested in working with me and my team, then go to realbluespruce.com and click get on the list. It's that simple. Just click get on the list to start passively investing. This has been an episode of the Apartment Investing Show with me, Adam Adams. All rights are reserved. And if you haven't done so already, then make sure that you absolutely smash that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next episode.